11 Labs Conversational AI Tutorial How to Use the 11 Labs Conversational AI Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're someone that is looking to build an interactive voice agent, you can do it completely for free using 11 Labs. 11 Labs is a AI-based platform that has several different solutions, including a studio to edit long-form audio with precision, dubbing, voice libraries, and 11 Reader to listen to any text content on the go. They have several different models that are being used to produce these amazing products. So let's take a look at conversational AI on 11 Labs. To get started with using conversational AI, you are going to need to create your account. So simply head on over to 11labs.io and click on get started for free. You can sign up to 11 Labs by using your email address. Once you've signed up, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. So on 11 Labs on the left, you will see your home and then different voices that you can browse. Before you get started with any product, I do recommend going through some of the voices that are available. This allows you to have a idea of what type of voices you could potentially be using within the products that you're creating. Now, once we have gone through the voices, we can proceed with their conversational AI. Once you click on conversational AI, it has its separate dashboard. Now in this, you can start building your agents. So for this, we're going to click on agents on the left, and then you have several different types of templates. So you can create a support agent, a mindfulness coach, a sales agent, a video game character, or you can get started from blank. I'm going to get started from blank and I'll show you guys step by step on how you can build your own agent. Starting off, you're going to choose the agent language. We're going to be proceeding with English. And if you want to add any additional language, you can add that. Today, I'm not going to be adding any additional language. Then you're going to add the first message the agent will say. If it's empty, the agent will wait for the user to start the conversation. And for me, it's going to say, hi, welcome to Lily's counseling. How may I help today? After that, you can add a variable as well. If you want to include the person's ID, agent ID, caller ID, caller number, duration, time, conversation, you can add those variables as well. Then you have your system prompt. The system prompt is used to determine the persona of the agent and the context of the conversation. So this is going to be a counselor for mental health support. Then you are going to add the information about the agent that you're building. You can even see on the right, you can generate with AI to generate your AI based prompt. Now we are going to be adding our prompt over here. And you are Kai, a compassionate, understanding support counselor. You are empathetic, patient, non-judgmental. You provide a, a safe space and trained in active listening and various counseling techniques. The environment, the tone, and the primary goals, as well as the guardrails and tools. Now, in this, it has the ability to use active listening, coping strategies, mental health resources, referral protocol, and as well as crisis interventions. And then we also have guardrails. You cannot provide diagnosis or prescribe medication. You must maintain confidentiality. Avoid getting direct medical advice or making decisions. You must not engage in behavior that could be unethical or harmful. Now I'm going to be renaming this from Kai to Lily. And this is going to be mental health support agent. Now once I do that, I can add some dynamic variables as well. And then we have LLM. So currently this is going to be covered by 11 labs. And after 21st of June, the cost will be passed down to you. Below that, you have your temperature. The so temperature is a parameter that controls the creativity or the randomness of responses that are generated. You have presets. So if you want creative, more created or deterministic. For the type of AI agent that I am building, I would not want it to be creative. I would want it to be very limiting. So I will keep it at deterministic with consistent and predictable responses. Now, after that, you can choose the token usage as well as any knowledge bases. This can be especially helpful if you're creating a very specific AI tool, if it's for your business or for your shipping, delivery, customer support. You can add a URL to your website or add your company SOPs, and that will be really useful for the AI agent so it can extract all the relevant information that it will need. Below that, you also have tools which can help the AI, AI agent and you can create and manage secure secrets. Once done, you're just going to click on save on the bottom and you can move towards the next step of building your agent. 
that is going to be to select the voice. So I'm going to search for the voice that I want to use. Now I want to go. What's up, baby? I want to go with a voice that is very calm. So I can search over here and I'm going to search for a calm professional voice. Hey. And I'm just going to browse around a little bit more. I think I'm going to go with this particular voice called Thomas. After that, we can add multi voice support. So if you do want to add different languages, you can add different voices for different languages. Then you also have Flash as well as pronunciation dictionaries as well as the streaming latency, stability, and speed. You also can boost the similarity and this will, uh, higher values will boost the overall clarity of the voice as well as the consistency. Then click on save to move forward. After that, you can proceed with your analysis. You can add criteria to evaluate the conversations as well as data collection. Then you have your security as well as advanced features and a chat widget that you can create. You can copy and paste this code anywhere. Now I'm going to click on test AI agent and now I'm going to test my own AI agent. Hey, I'm having a really stressful day and I don't know what to do. Now you guys can see the AI agent is doing a pretty great job, but the voice is not what I personally prefer. So I would change the voice. And one more thing I want to do is I want to make the voice a bit quicker because it's a tad bit slow for my personal liking. And now from here, I can, I'm going to be changing the voice once more. I'm going to search for something that's calm. I'm going to use this voice today, which is the Emily voice. And then I'm going to speed up the AI agent. And now I'm going to click on save. And now let's test our AI agent again. I'm having a really bad day and I don't know what to do. So now it sounds a tad bit better. I would make some more tweaks further on. And that is how you can get started with conversational AI. Not only can you create these amazing agents, but you will have a call history. You will have the number of messages exchanged as well as the duration of each conversation. You also can add knowledge base files, articles, URLs later on as well track phone numbers, view any outbound calls, as well as manage the settings for your clients. If you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.